Welcome back to an update version for the APC40 Mark 1 and Mark 2 scripts for Bitwig. And these versions support now the new features introduced in Bitwig 1.2, namely the new browser and group navigation. Starting with group navigation, I decided for the script for the APC not to have a function to enter and leave groups for the navigation. Instead, you get a flat representation on your APC. We're looking on the screen here, we have normal tracks and we have a group with three subtracks. So all of these tracks will appear as flat keys on the uh, as flat tracks on your user interface of the APC. So I select the first track. This is the first track, second one. So the third one is your group, and a fourth one will then go inside the group and select that track and so on. And the seventh one is then the track outside of the group again. So let's go back to the first track, which contains an instrument. And we have now the feature of a browser. And to open up the browser, you need to make sure you have selected an instrument or a plugin. Then you press the bank button and the browser will open up showing lots of columns and on the right you have your preset selection. To navigate the browser now, you can use those eight knobs. The last one controls the selection of your preset. And it's a good idea to have your play keyboard here ready to, to test the sound. And you can use the other knobs to navigate the columns. So the first knob selects the first column, the second column, and so on. Seventh button then has no function. And as I said, the last one selects your sound. Then you can decide if you want to keep that new selection. To do this, press the bank button again or to discard it, press the shift key and keep it pressed and press then the bank button. So we want to accept it. So we press the bank button and we have new sound playing. There's also some minor new features in the script. For example, you can toggle these eight buttons between editing your parameters or editing macros. To do so, you can keep the shift button pressed and press device on and off to toggle between macro and normal parameter editing. Another small feature is here we have the play ticks for the metronome, which plays also some sounds between uh, the, the main ticks of the metronome to enable or disable it. Also, there is a hidden shift feature, shift, and the metronome button will enable or disable this feature. And if you're using VST windows, let's go to the second track. We like to open close their uh, user interface to do so. Also shift feature, shift and detail view opens and closes its window. To see the difference in the knob naming and button to press for the APC Mark 1, reference the wiki in which I describe the function of every button and knob in the script in detail. There's also now a new feature in the sequences and in the play modes. You can press the middle button to toggle between the in-key playing or a chromatic playing. So thanks for watching. That's the update so far for the new version of the script. And happy wiggling. Bye.